And the reason we are here is to share what, as a family, what we've been going through. As a Blue Star family, when we was Blue Star family, and that means family who has sons and daughters in the war. But now we are Gold Star families, and we've been learning what a, what a mess. A lot of things is not done correctly. We need to change policies. The reason we're here is to change policies and be a beggars, because we beg in here for peace, we beg in here for change policies. My house is foreclosure, and because these areas put me in the situation I am, when I was asking to reduce the 7%, 7 to 4%, because I needed to reduce my mortgage payments, the area decided to put me in foreclosure. And so that's another situation that we're here for. So being here is a beggar, okay? It's my responsibility. Be as much as time, time I can in one of the more valued properties in front of these buildings. I'm afraid that my house, Camp Alice is going to be foreclosure very soon. But we're going to resist not to allow that happen here. President Obama just spoke about 50,000 troops left in Iraq still to a point of between 50,000 to 38,000 going to be coming back before Christmas. Well, we are very happy as a, as a Gold Star family for the Blue Star family, the sons and daughters going to return home. But we have a very responsibility to stand here and protest for the ones who are coming back with broken bodies and broken minds because that's the one who will need us to stand up for them here and claim the rights for them. And for the ones who lost their life, like my son, number 974, killed in the war in Iraq, we're going to remember them. And we're going to make sure that, that no matter what and how, we're going to show them that we're going to remember them no matter what. And not take advantage about the sacrifice of my son and being serious in this country. I go stand up for what I believe. I have my passport in my hand. I have the rights as a citizen to do something about it. And I think everybody should do the same thing. And that's why we're here. No, it's a beggars. But yeah, we are beggars for whatever you want to stand up for. And don't let anybody fool, fool you. You are citizen of this country, and you have, you have tremendous responsibility for your community, for your state, and for your country. This is my wife, Melida. She would like to share also something with you. come today to be quite honest everybody talks about and glorifies the uh, those that are dead and believe me I miss Alex every single day he was my stepson I loved him very much I got to be his in his life for uh, 11 years he got to be in my life for 11 years before he died but this these wars the loss, losing Alex, it's fucked up my family big time. And I consider my family and my family members, including me, to uh, be the part of the casualties of war. And as I've gotten to know other families of the fallen or military families, many of whom have to give up their jobs to take care of there are soldiers who end up emotionally or physically crippled from the wars. I know there are a lot of us who just never come back. So our mental health, our economic health, even our freedom is all in jeopardy, has been all in jeopardy ever since Alex was killed. Thoughts of suicide go through the, at least in my family, have gone through our heads, not wanting to live another day, because there are days when we just can't figure it all out. We just can't figure out why is it I haven't had a raise at a job since 2008? Why is it that Carlos ended up having to go on disability? Why is it that my other son ended up in jail? And as I've gotten to know other families, I realize that this is pretty common. 
among families of the fallen and military families who've got going through a lot of stress. Every day that I hear that there's somebody who lost another family is a bad day, another family member, because it brings it all back. So I have my own post-traumatic stress disorder. Our marriage has suffered. My family life has suffered. But I'm not just up here to make you all feel sorry for me. That's not the point. The point is that, unfortunately, I'm part of that 1% whose family members served in this war, these wars, these ongoing wars. And in this country, and in many other countries, everybody else is going shopping and not even noticing. Until the Occupy movement started, what, six weeks ago now? Eight weeks ago on Wall Street? People had forgotten that there were wars still going on.